hello friends i am dr ravindra pal teacher educator and today i am going to present the topic preparing teachers for elementary education actually all of us want good teachers in schools but who is a good teacher how do we define a good teacher there are some common characteristics that everybody searches for in a good teacher a good teacher should have passion for teaching the teacher wants to teach is not forced to teach and the teacher helps all students to learn not only a few students but every student every students above average below average every student is important in the class and the teacher is very clear about the objectives of teaching the teacher is prepared with a very good planned lesson plan in uh, in an organized way and whatever is required the teacher brings along in the class and then the teacher has the potential to engage the students in teaching learning process each and every student of the class is engaged in the teaching learning process and has a strong bondage with the students the students uh, they have you know they feel that the teacher is going to listen to us the teacher is uh, going to understand our problems so the teacher should have strong bondage and equally the teacher should be competent to communicate with the parents and the most important thing is the teacher should be master of his or her subject see the whole criteria of judging a teacher can be summarized in just three words they are will skill and knowledge the teacher should be willing to teach the teacher should be skilled enough to teach and the teacher should have good knowledge to teach now we have a well developed department of teacher education in almost all the universities almost in all the states what is this teacher education institution going to do what role they have to play in education they have to train the teachers they have to produce teachers who understand how children learn and how to help the students in development of learning strategies and develop skills so this is required in a good teacher and this is the role of the teacher training institution to inculcate in the teachers effective teacher training program should promote culture of innovations and new ideas that help the teacher in tackling new situations in the classroom in tackling the problems that the students face in the class now teacher education at elementary level when we talk about elementary level actually we are talking about classes 1 to 8 and we want to bring about qualitative improvement of education in this age group and for this the whole teacher education program needs to be revamped it needs to be modified it should address the emerging concerns of education at national and international level basically we divide the elementary education into two stages stage 1 is primary education where we talk about classes 1 to 5 then comes elementary education that is stages 6 to 8 classes 6 to 8 most of the training institutions for upper primary classes like dl ed course you know dl ed course takes primary classes 1 to 5 it's of 2 years duration during first year they take up uh, how to teach primary classes 1 to 5 and in the second year they teach how to uh, handle upper primary classes how to teach upper primary classes 6 to 8 there is another program bl ed it's uh, initiated by delhi university and it's going on in few colleges of delhi university and it's a four years program where we train the teachers to teach primary classes as well as upper primary classes 
and the old uh, tradition, the B. Ed. course, which has been going on for years, is training teachers to teach for classes six to twelfth. So here, uh, the focus on upper primary classes is not that much as it is in the B. Ed. and D. Ed. courses. What to teach? How to teach? These things are always discussed by the policy makers and on the basis of policy of education, national curriculum frameworks are formed and the latest national curriculum framework with us is NCF 2005. And this provides framework for making syllabi, textbooks and teaching practices within the school education program in India. Uh, NCF 2005 gives some very important suggestions, recommendations, which are grouped in five sections, we can say five thrust areas. First is perspective, it includes introduction and you know, looking back what we have done so far, but most important is the uh, guiding principles uh, that it has suggested. These guiding principles say that we should connect knowledge to the life outside the school. It should not be the school education is one thing and the life outside is another thing, no. We should prepare the child to live in the society, to lead a happy, healthy, contented life. So for that we have to connect the school knowledge, the knowledge imparted in the schools to the life outside the school. And we have to ensure that learning is shifted away from rote methods. Once the child understands what is being taught, then rote methods automatically vanish away. So we have to discourage rote methods, rote memory. And we have to enrich the curriculum provided to the uh, children, so that they learn things from outside world also, not only from the textbooks. And examinations have to be made more flexible, integrated into the classroom life. And then we are living in a democratic society, so the child should understand his or her role in the society, concern that should bother the child also. The child also, also should think about the environment, about the society, about uh, his or, or her own you know, roles and responsibilities in the society. So, all these things must be taught in the classroom, must be taken care of when we are teaching the students. So, this is the very uh, important, you know, suggestion of NCF 2005. Next is learning and knowledge, the second important section of NCF, that is the learner should be actively involved should be considered the primary one in the classroom and should be taught how to construct knowledge. The teacher should not be knowledge provider. The teacher should you know, prepare a situation, should construct so that the children construct their own knowledge and uh, the teacher should design learning experiences in such a way that the child feels like you know constructing their own, they should construct their own knowledge. Then they should ask why is everywhere, why this is happening. So, critical pedagogy is another uh, aspect that is being uh, recommended by NCF. Then children's knowledge and local knowledge that should also be considered in the classroom before teaching. You know. And then school knowledge should be useful for the community. Third section is curricular areas, school stages and assessment. Here uh, the NCF suggests uh, the curriculum, method of teaching, for teach, uh, teaching different subjects like languages, mathematics, computer science, science, social studies, art education, health and physical, work and education. Besides all these subject areas, NCF also recommends education for peace, habitat and learning, early childhood education. So, 
these are the concern areas of NCF 2005. Then elementary school, sec uh, secondary school and higher secondary school, uh, how and uh, uh, they should perform, open schooling, bridge schooling for those students who are not able to attend schools and how to assess, how to evaluate, these all are uh, described in detail in this section. The fourth section is school and classroom environment. Here, how to provide an enabling environment, how to nurture it, how to ensure that all the children get a chance to participate in the class. It takes care of children's rights and the policy of inclusion where every child is included irrespective of the problems a particular child has. And there is space for parents and the community. They are free to talk to the teacher, free to come to the school and then using education technology, organizing and pooling resources which are available around and teachers should be given autonomy and professional independence to think and try their ideas in the classroom and they should also get time for reflection and further planning. The last is systemic reforms because we need a quality education. So, what are the present concerns in teacher education? What is the vision for school uh, teacher education? What major shifts are required in pre-existing teacher education programs, in service education, training of teachers, initiatives and strategies for in-service education, examination reforms, innovations in ideas and practices. To achieve the goal of universalization of elementary education, see, uh, since the um, constitutional provision, we are trying our best to achieve the goal of UE. So, National Curriculum Framework for Teacher Education recommends that we should have separate courses for primary and elementary level teacher training like DLED, ETE, BLED and all. Diploma in elementary education is a two years course and admission norms is that uh, any student who has completed plus two level is uh, eligible for admission, duration is two years and the curriculum is nine papers in theories uh, in the first semester, first year and eight papers in second year and then there are practicals where micro teaching, practice teaching, social service, music, arts and physical education are all taken care of and then after two years there is internship for six months. BLED four years course. Entry level is again plus two, there is a com entrance uh, level competition exam and uh, this uh, concept has been conceptualized by uh, Mulan Azad Center for Elementary and Social Education at Delhi University. This program was launched in 1994-95 and it fulfills the need for professionally qualified elementary school teachers. So, this is a very good program. Uh, designed to integrate the study of subject knowledge, human development, pedagogical knowledge and communication skills. Now, there is revised curriculum for DLED also. Uh, since uh, the recommendations of NCF 2005, have, they have to be included. RT 2009 is something new that needs to be included. Then human rights and child rights, fundamental duties, multiple intelligence theory, and then participatory learning and so on. There are many new topics that need to be included in the curriculum of DLED. So, we need a revised curriculum for DLED. And then we need some changes in teacher education program like we should follow modular approach, skill learning is important and we should give enough practice to the teachers so that they use these skills in the classroom and they should develop a professional approach to all teaching strategies, development of material, application of relevant technologies, 
and curricular and organizational alternatives available. Curriculum structure of DLED is divided into foundation courses, content come methodology in different subjects, school experience program and practical work. Fundamental courses include philosophy of education, then child psychology, sociology, since they are the basic concept of education and they have roots in other disciplines as well. So, they are important foundation courses. Content and methodology, different subjects, language needs are different methodology, then mathematics, how to teach science, how to teach EVS, how to teach social studies. So, these things are taken up in this section. Then school experience program where students go to the schools and teach their experience whatever the school has to follow every day as a regular teacher they teach in the schools. Then practical work they go to the community, they do surveys. You know. So, whatever practical activities like uh, work experience also, like art education also, hmm, taking up action research. We need new models now. Elementary education is the right of every child and we need to achieve UEE at the earliest. So, for this we need to prepare teachers to motivate and mobilize the students to learn and complete education at least up to class 8. What are the challenges? Since the entry level qualification is plus 2, so most of the students, they do not have sufficient basic knowledge of the subjects to teach at the elementary level, especially in classes 5, 6, 7, 8. So, they have to enrich their knowledge. Then the course is of short duration two years course, first year devoted to primary and second to the upper primary. So, there is very less time when the teacher educators or the uh, they can train in providing, they can train uh, in different skills and provide necessary pedagogic knowledge for facilitating learning of children. Another problem is that it is difficult to make them understand psychosocial and learning needs of students in such a less time. They understand, they learn the theory sometimes by rote also, but they do not bring them in their behavior. Initiatives taken so far by the government are that they have established diets all over India in every state. There are 555 diets in India and they are providing elementary teacher education program. In Delhi University, BLED course is running. It is running in 8 women colleges in Delhi. There is a need for specially qualified teacher educators also in elementary teacher education. We have most of the te teacher educators who are amid uh, and research also in the sec senior secondary or secondary classes. So, we have very few teacher educators who are actually trained in elementary education. There are other initiatives also in this direction like uh, Jamia Milia Islamia in Delhi. They have started MED in elementary education. This is very useful for students who have done their degree in BLET from Delhi University. So, they go and pursue MED course in elementary education from Jamia Milia Islamia. Similarly, uh, Tata Institute of Social Sciences is also conducting AMET program in elementary education in Mumbai and Uttar Pradesh government has initiated another program for B.Ed. past candidates to make them eligible for teaching in primary schools. They have to undergo a special BTC program of 6 months duration wherein they learn about child psychology, they learn about methods to teach small children. So, they are trained, they are equipped with all the skills uh, to teach primary classes. The role of teacher educator is also changing. So, they have to 
facilitate physical, social, emotional and aesthetic development of prospective teachers. They have to foster their creative and constructive potentials. So whenever a teacher brings a new idea, it should be motivated to help develop personalities of teachers because students are influenced by the personality of the teacher, by the behavior of the teacher. So they have to be groomed in the teacher training institutions and this is the role of a teacher educator to train the teachers to adopt participatory, cooperative, activity centered and joyful teaching strategies. They should be trained in so many strategies that teacher is able to you know work like a magician with so many teaching strategies, so many skills in the pockets. So whatever is required is easily drawn out and used in the classroom. And then the teacher educator should try to inculcate professional commitment in teachers and make them reflective to deal with specific situations. We still have a long way to go. Main problem is the attitudes. In our country, many teachers have not come with their own willingness. They have been forced. When there is no other option available, they come to teaching. So that is very unfortunate. So they need to develop positive attitudes to a teaching profession. Students need to learn. Uh, they should feel that they have to learn. They should not be forced to learn. Parents, teacher, educators, political leaders, they all need positive attitude towards education. And we need resources, large number of resources for the teacher education program. Teacher educators also need to be trained to handle elementary classes. And we do not have any separate salary slab for upper primary teachers. Even the teachers trained in DL ed or BL ed, they go and teach primary classes. And upper primary classes are mostly uh, linked with the senior secondary and secondary schools, where they are the neglected classes most often. So, we need to have more middle schools or upper primary schools and separate salary slabs. But that is for the government to decide. If we go through the National uh, Curriculum Framework 2005, so they recommend that teachers need to be prepared to care for children and should love to be with them. They should understand children with social, cultural and political context. They should be receptive and be constantly learning. A good teacher is a lifelong learner. And they should view learning as a search for meaning out of personal experience and knowledge generation as a continuously evolving process of reflective learning. A teacher should view knowledge not as an external reality embedded in textbooks, but as constructed in the shared context of teaching, learning and personal experience. The teacher should own responsibility towards society and work to build a better world, appreciate the potential of productive work and hands on experience as a pedagogic medium both inside and outside the classroom. The teacher should have the uh, knowledge and should be a good reader and should analyze the curriculum framework, policy implications and the texts related to all this so that they can provide good education to the students, they understand them well and they adopt good teaching methodology in the class which is suitable for the given topic. NCF 2005 uh, says that a shift is required from a teacher centered education to a child centered education. The major shift areas of the that uh, NCF 2005 recommends is the teacher centric and stable design to we have we have to move to learning centric flexible process from teachers direction and decisions we should move towards a learner autonomy where the teacher is only a facilitator 
teacher's guidance and monitoring should be shifted to only facilitation, the role of support and encouragement. The teacher should see that the children are not passive receptors, rather they should be actively participating in the learning process. Learning within the four walls of the classroom should change into learning in the wider social context. Knowledge as given and fixed, no, this has to be changed. Why the teacher should give knowledge? The teacher should provide situations so that the child constructs uh, his own or her own knowledge. Knowledge is evolved and is created by the students. Now, another shift is required from disciplinary focus, from one discipline only to multidisciplinary and educational focus. From linear exposure, we have to move towards multiple and divergent exposure where child learns many things along with the given concept. And appraisal should not be only the one that the teacher is giving a class test and then assessing. It should be multifarious and continuous. So, this shift is what the NCF says is desired in the new system. So, we studied what all uh, changes are required in the teacher training program. Let us summarize whatever we have learnt in this session. A good teacher possesses will, means willing to teach, skills for teaching and knowledge. For qualitative improvement of education, the teacher education needs to be revamped according to the changing needs of the society, according to the developments going on and the research is going on. The five thrust areas of NCF 2005 as given in the document are perspective of education, learning and knowledge, curricular areas where all the subjects have been discussed, the curriculum uh, has been uh, laid down, school stages and assessment, school and classroom environment and the fifth one is systemic reforms. The national curriculum framework for teacher education recommends that we should have separate courses for primary and elementary level. Means we should go for DL ed and BL ed courses and their curricula should also be modified as per the changes in the education system and research studies. Need for new models of teacher education are required that they should be uh, suitable for meeting the challenges which are involved in training of plus 2 qualified teachers, uh, trainees because after plus 2 we cannot expect a child, a student, a trainee to be well equipped with the subject knowledge. So, somehow that should find a place in the curriculum. Then there are some initiative taken up by uh, various institutions like Jamia Milia Islamia is offering uh, MED in elementary education. Uh, similarly, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, they are also offering MED in elementary education. And UP government is uh, providing a special six months course to be a trained teachers, so that they are equipped with all the skills to teach primary and elementary. Uh, children. Role of teacher educator is to groom the trainees and to make them skilled. NCF 2005 recommends change from teacher centric approach to learner centered approach. So, these are various recommendations and we all uh, know that if we uh, put them in practice, we will evolve a very good teaching system teacher training system for our elementary school teachers and primary school teachers. Hope you found this session fruitful. Thank you.